Pass on to Luke Johnson, but he couldn't fire it in, and now the Wildcats will try and work it for themselves, but Malinek breaks up and neutralise and takes control of this one for the Bees. Harvey Stead then in neutralise, finds Malinek. Malinek races in, yes! Roman Malinek on the far wing, a great pass on to Roman Malinek. It looked to be almost a nothing play, but at 27.32, the Sheriff pulls the trigger. The TSI World Bracknell Bees from just outside the face-off circle. Roman Malinik gets a wrist shot straight past Mar. TSI World Bracknell Bees won the Swindon Wildcats nil. It was Manili Newman backhands it now to Gabay. Gabay in front, Pluck is in the crease. Plenty of players in the crease as well, but nobody can get anything on that to get in the back of the net and the Wildcats weather that one. That's the third chance now. Here comes Bullis now, a two-on-one break, three-on-one break. Mail Aaron Nell levels up the game. That was the Bees there, just being caught short on the defence. A two-on-one break, very quickly Aaron Nell saw the two-on-one opportunity to join it. And he then, as the third man on that three-on-one opportunity, was the one who finally got it high into the middle of the net as well. That's just a defensive error by and the that Bees. that means that the Bracknell Bees will get a chance to come back out the other way. That's going to be chased down again by James Galaxy behind the net. Whitfield gets a stick on it, but Galaxy retains control of it. Galaxy's out to Nags. Nags and a one-timer from Harvey Stead. Save made, not clean save. And the Bees keep it a save by Marr. Bees managed to keep that one with the body in front of the net. It's back out to Nags again now. Nags wrists that one into the back of the net. What a goal from Edward Nags. There's a tip in front as well, I think. It is a tip Malinic in front. with the tip at the front of the net. They're all turning to Malinic for the celebration. Just the slightest of tips that took it the other way. It was a great shot, though, I have to say, from Edward Nags. And that one there finally shows that body at the net didn't score the goal the first time, but managed to retain control of the puck for the Bees to get it back out to Nags to launch that rocket and then to get Malinik that little fine tip on it as well. Two for the Sheriff tonight. He'll be tipping his uh, Sheriff's badge. It's been a while coming for Roman. Too much on it. It comes all the way back down to Adam Goss and Brendan Baird will come back, pick it up from him and set Stead off again. Stead now finds Goodbye across the blue line. Goodbye looking for a chance there to feed uh, Zach Milton in front, into the back of the net. It goes, from what a goal from Great the play. TSI World Bracknell Bees. They are now 2.07 into this period, 3-1 up, what a start. Dominic Goodbye with the goal there as well, work from him. Will Stead, give them credit, Brendan Bear played it into Will Stead. Stead dumped it forward into Goodbye, Goodbye dropped it into Milton. Milton took the onrushing Wildcat man with him, and as the buck came back the other way, there was Dominic Goodbye to fire it in. Oh, perhaps to say, he's back out on the ice for the Wildcats. Draw in by James Galazzi though, turned over and here comes Van Cleef, Van Cleef is in alone now, Stuart Moore desperate to catch him, Van Cleef is scoring for the Wildcats on a breakaway chance, he was sprung free, there were two bees in pursuit of him, they just couldn't catch him and Van Cleef just did enough there to keep ahead of Stuart Mogg, get enough on that to get it past Adam Gossam with 15.41 to play, it's all alive at the Hive with the score Beast 3, Wildcats 2. It's going to be a careless turnover, I would say. Perhaps they're just looking for the line change as they do, in fact, take one now. Will Stead turns around and dumps that one in behind Mari, goes behind his own net to play it, hands it off to Nethersall, leaving Will Stead there without a puck. Now, what have we got going on? We've got Josh Smith. Turns around, Josh Smith! What a goal, a pass to find Josh Smith. He spun around and he let it fire. That is a great goal from Josh Smith. It's amused Graham Bell, my calling of it as well. It doesn't matter whether it's amused him or not. It's a good goal from Josh Smith. And now with 13.29 to play, a giggling Graham will tell you why it's Beast 4, Wildcats 2. What have, we, what have we got going on here is my new favourite line of commentary. Because what have we got going on here is Josh Smith restoring the two-goal lead for the TSI World Bracknell Bees. 6 remaining on the clock, the timeout taken by the Wildcats, it's and win. they win the draw. An empty net, of course, remember, at their end. Van Cleef to Nell. Nell through traffic, seen enough of or taken a deflection of down into the corner. And now here we come as we hit the final two-minute mark. Back out to Nell. Nell winds up, shot. Bebris with a rebound, and there is the goal from the empty net situation it was Aaron Nell with a huge drive from out with the blue line Goss made the save and Bebris buried the rebound just outside the crease 
And now with 1.50 to play, it's going to be Ma who returns to the ice for the centre ice face-off. There is only a goal in this one now. Bees four, Wildcats three. It's the old one. sticky now, clock in Milton Keynes. Face-off is in the attacking zone for the Bees and the net is empty. Nell has gambled now oh, with 12.9 seconds to play. It's Dominic Gabay who will line up for this draw. He needs to win this and get this one buried. Cat Ryan Webb buries the game with 10.3 seconds to play. Dominic Gabay won the draw, found Ryan Webb. Webb skated a few feet to the slot and buried it into the empty net. And now with 10.3 seconds to play, the two-goal advantage is restored. It's a happy Christmas at the Hive. Doug Shepard straight away poising at his players going, it takes one second to score a goal. That was more like two seconds, I think it's fair to say. The two seconds have got put back on the clock, got taken off the clock again, and the Bees have made it to a two-goal lead. And happily, the goal music returns as it should here at the Hive as well. The fans are going wild, loving the goal music. 10.3 seconds.